How's it going everybody? You got Bison here. Back with my first team of the tournament player review. This time we're going to be looking at Kaylor Navas for the first time. The Costa Rica crazy goalkeeper had an outstanding tournament. He has a team this season which got upgraded by one overall, but by looking at these Futhead stats, this card actually looks to have better stats, better diving, reflexes, and positioning. Is he the best goalkeeper in the Liga besides team of the season Courtois? Is he better than Casillas Courtois? We're going to find out. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and here we go. This first team of the tournament player review is underway. So, Kaylor Navas has had a ton of upgrades in FIFA 14. This is probably his best version. You got the 92 diving, 89 reflexes, and the 80 positioning. The positioning is very similar to Team of the Season De Gea. This card is similar in a lot of ways to I Man of the Match, Ochoa, and um, Team of the Season De Gea. His diving is actually incredible. It really lives up to the 92 in game. He can fly across net, extend his body out far on long shots and on close shots. Even though he's a pretty short goalie, uh, much shorter than regular Courtois, he still manages to fly across net and he doesn't take up a ton of space because he's not that big, but he can really soar and make up space across the net. That was the attribute he really lived up to in-game. Next up, his really highly rated 89 reflexes. I really feel like he lived up to that in-game. His reactions were actually very, very good. Felt a lot better in-game than his inform than his previous international man of the match. I'm going to explain why. On close shots, he can react very quickly, as you see right here. A great shot from David Villa. He not only extends his body out far, with the diving, but also reacts quickly. Also off this header, superb reflexes on shots from in close and on one-on-one -on -one opportunities. I really felt his reactions were best from shots in close and on some long shots at times, you could see him reacting a little bit slower. That has to do with his positioning. He is not always in position all the time. It's a little bit better than the other versions of his card, but it's not a strength. Consider International Man of the Match at Showa. These cards are very, very similar, except this card definitely has better reflexes. This card would sometimes take poor angles to the ball that goalies like Thibaut Courtois with better positioning would be able to save. When you bring him out of net, his reflexes are superior, but sometimes, as you see here, his angles are below average, leaving too much space to one side or another and having an easier opportunity for the player to score on you. And at times, I could feel that it would be a disadvantage. But his positioning was really more inconsistent than atrocious. At sometimes when you bring him out or leave him in net, he would be in good position. Sometimes his angles would be below average. Or his actual position in net would be below average. But one weakness I really felt with this card is his height. Look at this example right here. A cross coming in from almost midfield. He's 6 feet tall, which isn't that short. But look, he doesn't even try to get it. When you try to bring him out on corners, he can't really go and get balls over taller defenders. Yes, he can dive really high and far across net. He just doesn't have the confidence or height to punch the ball um, on corners. So I felt like that was a tiny weakness. His handling is pretty underrated on this card. He doesn't catch a ton of balls, but mostly the balls that he saved would go into a position where a second chance opportunity wouldn't occur, but that really depends on your experience. I just thought felt that it was underrated. Anyways, quick recap here, diving and reflexes, very, very good. Positioning would be a little inconsistent, yet better than the other versions of his card. And the other weaknesses I talked about, not necessarily huge deals. Now, the big question, is he better than regular Courtois and Casillas? This card goes for about 13,000 coins. In my opinion, based on all of the games I've played with all of these keepers, I would go Casillas, Courtois, and then Navas after them. I definitely recommend Navas to you guys, but I feel like Courtois is definitely more consistent than Navas, even though Navas at times can have much better reflexes in diving than Courtois. Courtois is more consistent on one-on-ones, good positioning in net, and I feel like Casillas is uh, superior to Courtois because he definitely has diving and reflexes that are better, but also his positioning is very underrated. Navas is still a great card. I just feel like, in my opinion, the other cards are just a little bit better than Navas. I still recommend him to you guys. Try him out. I give him an 8.5 out of 10 just because of his positioning and height. But I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys next time.